Hey guys, how are you? Mrs. Klein's here. This is going to be May, week six, day one, for those of you who have the second grade math packet. We're going to go ahead and look at some of this together. Okay, so for this top part, I'm actually going to switch screens and share another screen with you that's going to explain these. We're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F together. And then you guys are gonna do G, H, I, and J on your own. And then we'll come back to this page and we're gonna do section two together. Okay, so let me go ahead and switch to our other screen so that you guys can see what we are going to work on. Okay, remember we have our place value. We have our ones, we have our tens, and we have our hundreds column. We have our units over here, which are our ones. We have our rods over here, which are our tens. And then we have our flats over here, which are our hundreds, okay? So that's a little review. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on some of our problems. So we have one more than 37 is our first problem. I'm actually gonna move my face on this screen so we have a little. Okay, so we have one more than 37. And if you count our uh, rods and units here, you will see that I made the number 37 for you. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, okay? We wanna know what number is one more than 37. So what do we need to do, guys? I heard somebody say it, yes, we need to add another unit in, okay? So there's our unit that we're adding in, right there in our ones column. Once we add that unit in, recount and what is our new number? <clears throat> Somebody said it. Good, one more than 37 is 38. Very good job. So we, if we were to count this, it would be 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So when we add one more to 37, we get the number 38, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to our next problem. The next one is 10 more than 37. So again, I have the number 37 here for you. And we want to know what 10 more than 37 is. What are we gonna do? Somebody said it, yes, we are going to add something in. What are we gonna add in? We want 10 more. Good, we are going to add a tens to our tens column. There it is. When we add that in, recount. How many do we have? What's our number now? Good work. Our new number, 10 more than 37 is, let's count it together, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 10 more than 37 is 47. Good work, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and look at our next problem, this should be C on your math paper. All right, C should say one less than 37. What is one less than 37? So now we need to go down. We're not making our number bigger, we're making our number smaller. We're going down, one less than 37. We need to take something away from our 37. What should we take away? Yes, one of our ones. Okay, so we're gonna take one of our ones away. And when we do that, go ahead and count our new number, but don't count the one that we took away. Good, let's go ahead and count it together. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. One less than 37 is 36. Good work. 
I think you guys are following along. Can you guys go ahead and give me, do this if you got it, do this if you don't have it. Good work, I see most of you have it. Those of you that don't, you can go ahead and have your parents message me and I can um, reach out to you and get you some more help if you need. All right, let's go ahead and look at our next problem. 10 less than 37. Okay, so we have the number 37, but we wanna have 10 less than that number. That means, yes, that means we're going to take something away from it again. What are we going to take away from it? A 1 or a 10? A 10, because it says 10 less than. So here's our number 37. Let's go ahead and take out a 10. Go ahead and count how many we have now. Let's count it together. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 10 less than 37 is 27. Good work. Okay, let's look at the next. <clears throat> we have 58 is 10 more than what? Okay, this is worded a little bit backwards. So we're gonna work, work through this together. Let's go ahead and just double count and make sure that we have 58 over here. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. We do have the number 58. It's, it's telling us 58 is 10 more than what number? So it's actually bigger than this number that it wants us to guess. So in order to figure out the number that it wants us to guess, we need to take 10 away from it to figure that out. We're gonna take 10 away. And our new number, yes, is 48. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 58 is 10 more than 48. Now, if you look at the two numbers, the numerals that are written, you can see the tens um, place value is the number that change, okay? That it was a five, there were five tens, 50, and now there are four tens, 40, okay? So 58 is 10 more than 48. 29 is one less than what? So it's telling us there's actually a number that's bigger than 29. 29 is one less than this number. So what do we need to do? I heard somebody say it. Yes, we need to add one in. Let's go ahead and add our one in. There it goes, we're gonna bring it over. When we bring it over, guys, how many is gonna be in the ones column now? There are gonna be 10 ones in the ones column. <laughs> what do we need to do with those 10 ones? We can't have 10 ones in the ones column. Now we have to take them over to the tens place value, you are correct. So there we have it. When we add that, uh, that group of 10 over, we have 10, 20, 30. So 29 is one less than 30. All right, let's go ahead and go over to our math paper now. You guys worked really hard on that and I'm super proud of you. You guys are gonna do G, H, and I, and J all on your own and we are going to work through the bottom portion together. Let me get my pen. Okay, complete each pattern and write the roll. Okay, so we have 44, 45. Who do we think is going to come next? We know that the ones place value is what's changing. 44, 45, yes. 46, good job. And then 47, good work. And then it gives us 48. So you can see the ones place value is what changed each time. So what was our rule? What do you think our rule was that made our number change? Yes, 
I heard someone say it. You are correct. The one where you can say add, ah, type tonight, add one to each number. There are different ways we can word this. We could say add one to each number, or we could say count up by ones, count up by ones. You guys can word it whichever way you want. I am not going to be picky on how you word it as long as the rule is correct. So you may choose one or the other for how to word it. Count up by ones, that works. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this problem right here. We have 44, then we have an unknown number, then we have 24, then an unknown number, and then four. Hmm, well if you look, the ones are staying the same every time. Four, four, four. Look at the tens place value though. It was a four, over here it's a two, and now there's nothing. I think it must be counting down. Must be counting down by tens, you are correct. So we had 44, if we take 10 away, then we have 34. Ah, sorry. Sometimes this thing gets a little touchy. And tonight it is being a little touchy right now. I can't seem to get the number four to write. Here we go. Okay, 44, 34, 24, and then take away 10, take away a 10 from 24. We have two 10s, now we only have one 10. Good, and we still have the four in the ones. Very nice work, guys. So we have 44, 34, 24, 14, and four. So what was our rule? Our rule was to count what? Yeah, count down by tens. Very good work. Count down by tens. <clears throat> or take 10 away. Whichever way you want to word it is fine. Okay, now we're going to look at C. We have 44, blank, blank, 74, 84. What number's changing? What place value? The tens place value is again changing. Okay, we had four, blank, blank, seven, eight. I think it might be not going down this time. It's going up. It's going up by tens. So we have 44, then we have 54, then we have 64, then we have 74, and then we have 84. See how the tens place value went up by one group each time. So our rule is what? Who can tell me our rule? Count up by what? Good work, by 10. Count up by 10. All right, let's do D together. We have blank, then we have 43, then we have 42, then we have blank, and then we have 40. What place value is changing? The ones place value is changing. Good work. We had three, then two, then blank, then zero. So what's it doing? It started out at three and it ends with zero. It's going down by ones. It's counting down by ones. So we had the number before 43 was 44. Now we count down, 43, 42, 40, yes, 41, then 40. Good work, guys. So our rule was count down by ones, right? Count down by ones. 
I know I'm mixing up. Sometimes I'm writing it and sometimes I'm using the numerals. Sorry about that. Okay. I want you to do E and F. I want you to do the rule on your own, but I'm going to help you get the pattern. So we had 44 and we have 34. It only gives us two. I think we can still figure out the pattern. What's changing here? The ones or the tens? You're right, the tens. We had 44, now we have 34. We took a 10 away. So it's counting down by tens, yes. So if we were, now if we go this way, we have to add 10 more. So 44 with another 10 is 54, good. 54 with another 10 is 64, good work. Okay, now we gotta go back this way. We're counting down now. So if we take a 10 away from 34, we have, good, 24. Okay, I want you to write the rule all by yourself there. <clears throat> Let's look at F. We have 41, blank, blank, 38, 37. What place value is changing, the one or the tens? Well, okay, you guys brought up a good point. I heard some of you say, well, it looks like both ones and tens because we had 41 and now we skipped to 38. So technically the ones place value and the tens place value change. You are correct in that, but if you look at 38 to 37, only the ones place value changed and it only counted down by one. So if we continue that rule to count down by one, let's see if it works with our pattern. 41, if we counted down by one, we'd have 40. Then if we were to count down by one again, we'd have 39. Then if we were to count down again, 38, and then 37. Did that work? It did, that one was tricky because it started us with um, a number that was in a different tens place value there but it was still the rule is still what good work i heard some of you say that go ahead and write the rule right there i like the work that you guys did today you worked super hard i'm proud of you i look forward to continuing our work with place value all right i'll talk to you later love and hugs bye